have the revised version now of the um, study that I've previously posted. And it's very good. And um, one moment, I'm making a blog post right now about it actually. I want you guys to see what I'm looking at. No, this is not one of those videos. Testing the association between blood type and COVID-19 infection. intubation and death and I have uh, <clears throat> the first version did not highlight the RH negative blood factor as much as it should have um, which is understandable because they also mentioned in this one that the Chinese study did not you know take the RH factor into consideration at all so their main incentive was basically to look at whether or not the Chinese study uh, showing blood types being connected is the real deal or not and yes uh, m many of these findings have been confirmed I can go quickly to the conclusion and uh, we found evidence for enrichment of B and depletion of O well you know what let me focus just on the RH negative blood factor because that's why we're here so I, re I will read to you, using observational data on 7,770 SARS-CoV-2 tested individuals at New York Presbyterian NYP Hospital, we find evidence of overall association with ABO blood groups and a beneficial association between RH negative blood groups and both infection status and death. This is very significant. Uh, they are actually spelling it out now what um, we have seen and some of you have also wondered why you looked at the data and you said why are they not even why are they ignoring how you know the low number not only of the deaths among RH negative COVID-19 patients but also the low number of COVID-19 pa patients um, from those tested and and I believe it's also not a lot of RH negatives who gotten tested I have to look this up a little bit more, but there is a significant uh, connection. I hope that my video can last a little bit longer. Um, now, what I really, really love is that they say, since there were few AB negative individuals tested for SARS-CoV-2 infection, we excluded AB negatives from all ABORH analyses. Wow! Now, I don't believe they had to look at what I had to look at, but there were already these rumors flying that AB negatives are immune. There was something like three AB negatives patients or AB negatives and none of them had COVID or something like that. It was just such a low number. It was insane. So immediately people go on Facebook and say, oh, look, AB negatives are immune. I'm so happy that they actually spell it out. And again, I'm going to link to the post below this video and you will see the original study and be able to see what is and what isn't and what is not known. Mind you, we still need more data. Uh, we need more studies and bigger studies to confirm all of this, but for now this is good to have. While RHD information was not available from the other meta-analysis sites, we found consistent evidence for protective associations between RH negative blood groups and SARS CoV 2 infection and death in NYP CUIMC data. Consistent. And of course, he's mentioning again the Chinese study, and maybe there was another one also, but they didn't highlight or didn't pay attention at all to the RH negative blood factor and the RH blood group system at all. Negative RH blood groups are less common, representing only 9% of individuals in our data. Why? And RH group associations were consistently moderated by adjustment for covariance. You have to look at figure one, click on the study on the blog post, suggesting the potential for confounding due to population stratification or selection bias. 
Further work is needed to better understand the associations between RHD blood groups and COVID-19. Yes, and listen to me. I also have, you know, many times posted about other infections or diseases of viral origin. And the numbers where there was always, there was mo in most cases a significant difference um, between, it seemed that there was a protective association in some of them at least, you know, dengue fever maybe not, and maybe also not West Nile virus, but there we had very, very small studies. So what this is telling me is that now hopefully we're going to get some new material, some new data some uh, better understanding what it is exactly that makes RH negative people more what the, what is the reason what is the reason for what could the reason be for such protective function um, I'm obviously not prepared for this video but I'm going to talk a little bit more about the uh, thank you Paul Thank you to every Ken. Thank you to all of you who um, are helping me with information, who are bringing information to my attention because I am um, able to use my platform to inform RH Native people worldwide of what is happening. And I'm going to share it with you guys. So if you want to know more, you can subscribe to my blog and my YouTube channel and such. So, what do you think? Do you have any material? Do you have any idea? Let me see also that study shows negative. There was something else that I haven't looked at yet. It's beautiful, the tables, everything. This focus is 